they choose? So you really want to know the truth? Are you sure you want the truth? The truth? I don't know. Can you handle the truth? Okay, well, I guess I have to embarrass him. Okay, I guess it's time for some embarrassment. through a friend. Um, a friend had told me, oh, God, there's this guy that I want you to meet. I, at first I was a little bit hesitant. I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know, we'll see. And I just wait a couple of weeks. She's like, no, seriously, you should add, like, talk to him. And I'm like, okay, so tell him to add me on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. Um, he added me on Facebook and he started messaging me and we talked on MSF for like maybe 10 minutes and then he asked for my number and he just said, I remember this line perfectly. He's like, this is the 21st century. I should have your number and we shouldn't be talking on MSN. I'm like, okay, I'll think about it. I'm like, okay, fine. So I give him my number. And at first he thought I was joking because my phone number is very easy. He thought I was not giving him the right number, but I'm like, no, give me a call. We, we met was actually through a friend and uh, it was more like we were destined to meet. So regardless if we were connected through a friend or not, we were going to meet at the end anyhow. So yeah, um, she gave me her number. We talked on the phone for the first time, and then we went out. And then um, honestly, she kind of she kind of needed someone like me to come into her life, pick her up, you know, be nice to her. You know, it was, uh, it was a good time on our first date. You no, know, it, it really surprised me the fact that how serious he was on the first date. Like, um, the fact that, like, he was talking about family and, like, kids and just seeing how married that is. I didn't think that's the type of guy, but, like, as the, the day as the day went by, we had coffee and we went on a walk. I got, I was surprised. He really, like, by looking at him, you think that like, he's, like, a player type of guy, but no. He's very down to earth. So I saw that in the first date and I was very attracted by that. His personality is shine. Um, it might sound weird, but he kind of reminded me of my dad, like personality wise. He's very, um, I found him to be very confident in himself, which is very attractive in a man. The um, absolute truth is when we first met, she even could admit it that I was playing very hard to get. You know, like I showed her a good time and everything, but the truth is, you know, how can I put it, for lack of better words, you know, that she was something very special. Right when I first saw her, she was very special to me. And I knew she wasn't like all the other girls. So I had to um, play it cool, you know, and take it from there. His friends yeah. say he's a ladies' man. Um, so I take their, their word for it, I guess. When I met his friends the first time, they did warn me about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna deny, I'm not gonna fabricate or sugarcoat the story. The truth is, yeah, you know, growing up here, you know, you gotta do what gives you street credentials. So, yeah, I was, you know, So what was that? Tell, tell the camera what you were. Street credentials, I don't know. It's a variety of, the whole basket of things. But, you know, it, cons it consists of, you know, being a, a, a smooth ladies' man. And you know, I don't want to brag and all, and uh, the ladies found that I was uh, easy on the eyes. He was a gentleman, he held my hand, and no kisses, maybe one or two, but that's it. But he was a very good, he was a gentleman. He just held my hands and we went on a walk. He did. What? She went in for the first kiss. She wanted me to go and call her. She even complained how I didn't even call her the next day. I, I didn't even call her for the whole week. Mm, you kept for seven waiting. days, yeah. For seven days, she was just waiting for my phone call. Actually, he told me one day just to go to Sunset Beach for a drive. So I was thinking, okay, fine, I'll just put my sweats on, nothing special, my hair in a bun, look just utterly normal, nothing special. So we go to Sunset Beach and we drive up and he's like, let's go for a walk. I'm like, okay, we'll go for a walk. But before we got out of the car, he's like, I have something to ask you. And I'm like, okay. And he just asked me, he's like, will you? I'm like, yeah. And 
that was it. <laughs> did you cry? I did cry, yes. He cried a little bit too, I'm going to be honest, just a little bit, but he did too. For the record, no. When I proposed to Kazale, I did not cry. I kept the stone face, always played cool. She was the one that, crying, she was the one that, you know, she couldn't believe her eyes. But no, I, I, as, you know, as, as, as sensitive I am, I did shed some tears inside my heart because, you know, this is a very special day. But no, I did not fully cry once I busted out the ring. I did it because I knew she would say yes. I did it because I knew she would wanted me to propose to her. Yes, I proposed to her because I knew Rajla would say a 100% yes. So how did you well, that was it. That was the, that's the truth. Um, whatever he's going to say, um, don't believe him, guys, because my side is the true side. Yeah, we so. met. Rajla was, uh, you know, trying to, I could tell Rajla was, you know, she really liked me. But I really liked her too, but I just didn't want to show it at the beginning. So whatever Rajla has said throughout this video, that is a complete farce. That is a complete lie. You are witnessing the truth right here, right now. The truth is, she was the one that wanted me to call her. The truth is, when I took out the ring out of my pocket and I showed it to her, she knew exactly what was going to happen. And she was expecting for this day.